All right, today we're going to do something fun. <clears throat> we are going to um, <clears throat> log in to the Hidden Reef BBS via this 56K modem right here. And we are going to upload a program for folks to download. We're going to be using X modem transfer protocol. We'll be using Telco, the fantastic um, terminal software for the TI and we are going to be using disk 2 and disk 3. Disk 2 contains the telco program and disk 3 is going to contain the file that we will be uh, uploading. So <clears throat> what we're going to do, I'm going to go ahead and fire all this stuff up. It's going to be a little loud when I come back, but uh, we'll fire it up and then I will show you how we do all of this stuff. So hang tight and this is going to be fun. Okay, I've got all the drives fired up. I have the modem on. You may be able to see the modem lights, you may not. Let's see what it looks like when I turn this light off. Yeah, that might work out. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to fire up Telco. And the way we're going to do that is uh, we're going to turn on the TI. We're going to go to Extended Basic. It's checking disk one for a load program. All right, and there's our command line. So we're going to do old disk two dot load. Well, I guess I need to be in capital. Now this program was designed to run from disk one, so the load program in there usually will kick off um, kick off the program loading from disk one. We are actually running this from disk two, so I'm going to hold it in and then I'm going to run it. And this will fire up Telco, and because I'm using disk two inside the load program, it actually has um, um, it has. It has something in there that will actually tell it to run all of the programs and all of the support files off of disk 2. Takes a minute to load up. Okay, so I don't know how clear this video is coming through, but this is my screen here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the uh, we're going to use the auto uh, the auto dialer. So I'm actually going to zoom in here, or scoot the camera forward just a little bit, so we can get a little better shot of this screen. It's still not the best, but it's better. Okay. So we're going to go down to auto dialer. I have um, I have the the hidden reef saved in my auto dialer file. Hidden reef is saved as number 1, so we're going to go number 1. And we're going to hit enter, and if everything works as it should, it should start dialing up on the modem. So let's see here. modem, you can see the lights, maybe you can hear that too, that's the sound of 2400 baud, mmm, tasty, okay, so we have dialed in uh, to the hidden reef, 
And now we have to log in. My login code is 79, so we're going to log in. ID minus 79. Okay, I'll type in my password here. You have to type on this thing fairly slowly because it takes a minute for the terminal to send your key press uh, to, uh, to the host computer. And Richard Bell um, is in New York and I'm in Wisconsin. So. Okay, here we are. I'm going to press any key as it suggests. And it has my old outdated information of where I used to live. Okay, we are not going to check messages because this, uh, this particular video is about uploading a file. We check for new files. No, we don't need to check for new files. So it's pulling up the information here. And the one that we're interested in is right there, Uploads. We want to upload a file, okay? So we hit U for Uploads. Now it gives us some locations of where we potentially might want to upload it to. We are going to want to put it in 4A Games 1. So that's Selection D. It asks us now if we want to upload to this area, and we're going to say yes. Okay, yes. File name. We're going to upload my new game, Marcus, and we're going to upload the basic version, not non-speech. So it's in my uh, on my disk is Marcus B A S for basic. So we'll hit enter going to ask us for a description here, so we're going to type Marcus of Marinus, non-speech version. Oh, couldn't, couldn't finish the closed parentheses. That's okay. So here it gives us a little bit of a disclaimer. If you're going to upload uh, uh, disfix 128 file you have to use mass transfer 4.4 or higher um, we are not doing that what we're going to want to do is an X modem CRC upload which is right here X so we're going to select X so it's saying ready to receive so it's ready for us. so now what we're going to do is we're going to hit function 9 on our keyboard and it pulls up our menu and we're going to go down to upload file right there hit enter and we want to use the X modem protocol right there okay <clears throat> now we're waiting for it to load the ancillary program here we go file name is going to be disk 3 dot Marcus BAS so it's going to check this thing in disk 3, make sure it's there. It's 7,808 bytes, and now it's going to start uploading here in just a moment. Right now it's loading the program into the 32K memory, and it's going to actually load it from there, not from disk. Okay, so as you can see here, it is uploading fairly slowly, but it is uploading. fast forward through this so you don't have to watch it. When it's done uploading, they'll listen for that chime again. <clears throat> that chime, uh, the chime is beautiful. So right here, you can see my modem is lighting up like a Christmas tree as we, as we upload this file. And we're 
we're about halfway there. <clears throat> the best time to do VBSing on your stock TI is 2 a.m., which is basically what time it is right now. Something special about doing this crap really late at night. Alright, we're getting close here. So when it finishes uploading, it'll give the chime and it'll say upload successful if we were successful. Transfer successful, press a key. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into terminal mode, which will put us back in the BBS. And it gives it a second. It's going to load up you know, whatever program it needs to. And it says successful. Do we want to upload another file? We're going to say no. So great. So we can see here, um, we can see here the, the main menu screen for the, um, for the hidden reef. And we're going to go to downloads right here because I want to see if our file is there. And we're going to check 4A Games 1, which is D, Selection D. It asks us what we want to do. So we are going to list the files. We're going to list the files. This is going to go pretty quick if I remember right. So we're kind of looking either at the very top or the very bottom. I'm not sure which. Okay, if we'll watch it, it'll blow through all this, and we should be close to the bottom then, is what I'm guessing. Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so the two files here, Marcus TE2 was the one we loaded earlier, that is the speech version of the game. And then this is the one right here, Marcus BAS, that we just uploaded. So, we can actually um, download that if we want to. We don't really need to because we already have it in disk 3. But we can download uh, a game if we want to. Or we can switch areas. And switch areas and we'll look in another one see if we find... What I'd like to find is a big cache of like... A, graham cracker cartridge files which is what i really like to find let's go to 4a games 2 let's go to selection e let's list the files here and see what we can find most of these are archived arc files which um they have to be unarched um, using archiver Okay, cool. Uh, there's Pitfall. Pitfall there, that, um, that's kind of cool. That was actually um, Philip Van Boren's port of Activision's Pitfall to the TI, <clears throat> which is kind of neat. Um, it's a really good game. I have it on cartridge. But anyway, what I kind of wanted to just show is how we dial in to a bulletin board system, um, how we uh, how we upload a file, and then we can actually download one if we want to, but that's another video for a different day. Uh, for now, let's go ahead and do a quick log off, which is the dollar sign. Thanks for calling the Hidden Reef, and it logs us out. And it shows no carrier. So as you can see on the modem, we are back to a waiting state. Okay. And so now in order for us to go and do anything, we have to use the function 9 key. And it takes us back to our main menu. And uh, if we want, we can go and call another BBS. We can go and play uh, a text adventure game or get into a multi-user dungeon um, on... Uh, the keep.net the keep actually number two that's uh, Greg McGill that's his uh, that's his bulletin board system so 
anyway, uh, this was really just um, it's really just a video about showing how this kind of works, and all you need is a TI with a uh, with an RS-232 serial card, uh, extended basic, and a disc containing telco to go with your modem, and you can uh, you can do this too. So anyway, that's it. Thanks.